blogger. Keep smiling! What does fashion mean to you? Fashion to me means being confident and being secure in who you are, um, not being afraid to go against the grain, and just being the best you that you can be, whether it's in accessories, footwear, um, clothing, just whatever it is that makes you happy, whatever it is, especially with clothing, whatever it is that makes you feel your sexiest, your cutest, even if it's not something that's in style because if you feel confident in it, you'll look great in it. Who are your fashion inspirations? I really like Solange. I like that she does whatever she wants. She doesn't really, at least she doesn't seem to care about what's necessarily in style. I like the mix of patterns and prints that she does. Um, as I, that her style has definitely influenced the way I dress and the way I shop and just being a lot more fearless in um, my clothing options and I also really enjoy Rihanna's style she's another person that just doesn't really seem to care what other people say she's gonna wear what she's gonna wear and she's gonna wear what makes her feel confident and what makes her feel sexy so um, those two have definitely influenced how I dress, how I shop, how I carry myself as far as um, fashion wise, I've definitely stepped out of the box way more than I used to before I really started following those two ladies. Who is Ashley Uda? Ashley Udo is the girl next door, the friend in every group that's loud and crazy and like always there for you. I'm so much more than a blogger and that's why I try to like not pigeonhole myself as just a fashion blogger. That's what I do the most but I also try to do the fitness and the food videos and the nails because there's like just so many more layers to me and I try to keep it as personal personable as possible because I really want to be like everybody's friend in their head kind of thing. So I would say Ashley Udo is your friend. Explain the concept of thrifting and how it came into your life. I started thrifting, believe it or not, when I was in like maybe starting in fifth grade. My mom would take me to thrift stores. It's so weird now because I'm 5'4 and that's not really tall, but in elementary school, I was like the tallest person in class and I was just growing so fast that it just didn't make sense to buy new clothes for me because I was literally growing out of them like every week. So we started thrifting and it's just kind of been something that stuck with me ever since. I love being able to go there and know that if I buy something, more than likely I'm not going to see anyone else with it. Um, it's usually a better quality because it's a, lot of, it's a lot older than a lot of the stuff that you may buy from the stores that's in the mall so I really love that I can wash it and I don't have to worry about it falling apart um, I like that I can just like really be original I can find great brands and it's just it's just fun to me like being on the hunt and like rummaging through all of those like rags just to find like that one really cool piece that you just have to have um, as far as how I thrift thrift to be a great thrifter, you have to go into it with a plan already. So before I go to the store, I say, okay, I want some striped pants. So when I go to the thrift store, that's what I'm looking for, striped pants. Now if I happen to find something else that I really like, of course I'm going to get it. But I feel like if you don't go with the plan, you'll get really overwhelmed because this stuff is so cheap. $3, $2, a dollar, $5 at the most. You'll be tempted to just grab everything. So I definitely go into it with a plan. I think if you do that, you'll come out with some really great finds. And you have to know your brands as well. That's helped me a lot in knowing what to leave, what to get. Um, really signature pieces and some of the pieces that I get the most compliments on are usually my thrifted pieces. What do you think of artists such as Lady Gaga and Nicki Minaj that take fashion a little overboard? Um, I think that's 
a personal personal choice sometimes I look at it and I think that it's a gimmick and I just feel like there is like no way in hell that I could walk around in a meat dress or you know as a nun but it seems to work for them and so kudos to them like if you can commit to that I am impressed because especially being here in Atlanta with like a hundred degree weather I just couldn't do it but I mean the fans seem to love it I don't think they take it I think we as the fans take it way more serious than they do I think they're just having fun and it's just like playing extreme dress up every day so go for it if that's what makes you happy I'm all about just whatever you feel comfortable in so if that's what they feel comfortable in if that's what they like kudos to them it couldn't be me but if that works for them I'm all for it Udo is basically just a chronicle of my life. I try to share as much as possible but still kind of have some mystery to me because I get a lot of complaints with my friends when I'm out there. I was like, this isn't going to be on your blog, is it? So because of that, I've tried to like focus it on me a lot. Um, I actually started my blog my junior year of college and it was kind of just something that as an advertising and marketing major I had to have a blog like you can't be a communications major and not know how to blog not know how to use social media so that's how it started and if you go back to the very beginnings of my blog you'll see that it's like all over the place I think one of the very first posts I did I showed like all of my hair weaves and described them and it was just like so random and just Whatever I felt like blogging about, that's what I did. Um, and then I kind of came across this style blog. It's Viva, she's vivaluxury.blogspot.com. Her name is Annabelle. And I was just like in awe. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, there's actually girls that, you know, dedicate time to like getting dressed and chronicling this. And it was something that I really wanted to do. But to be honest, I was in college and you wouldn't know it looking at my blog now but i spend almost every day in nike shorts and t-shirts and running shorts so i was like okay no one is going to want to see that today i wore green shorts and today i wore pink shorts that's like not going to work so it kind of died off for a while and then once i graduated it was something that i really wanted to try again and it started out as like just for fun and then before i knew it i actually had people like commenting and visiting and when I didn't post I would get an email you know hey you haven't posted in a while are you still blogging and then that's when I was kind of like oh my gosh like people are really paying attention to me and then so as that as um, time has progressed I really just studied a lot of blogs and like try excuse me try to um, you know get better I'm still an amateur at it um, it's just something that's really fun for me um, in addition to the style, I also do little exercise tut tutorials and that's another thing that kind of just started from one of my style posts. I was wearing like a cut off shirt and someone was like, oh my gosh, can you please do a tutorial for your abs? And like I kept getting that question over and over again and I was like, okay, you know what, honestly, I'm tired of like emailing you on my routine. So I started making YouTube videos and it just kind of went from there. Um, and then from the fitness videos, it was like, well, can you tell us what you eat? So I started the recipes and then in one of my photos, I did a close up of my nail design and then I got an email, hey, can you please show me how you did that nail design? So I started doing, doing nail designs. So even though it's about me, I really do try to um, give the people, the, my readers, what they want. Is I, I would probably still do it even if no one visited, but it really wouldn't be as fun. So if someone says, hey, we want to see this, we want to see that, can you show us how to do that, then I really do it. So even though it's Ashley Udo's blog, it, it belongs to everyone. I've taken what everyone has kind of wanted me to do and made it into my own. Speaking of fitness, do you have to be fit in order to rock good fashion? Hell no. You most definitely do not. I encourage, and that's like one of the biggest things that I emphasize on my blogs, in my tweets. Whenever I do anything about fitness, I always make sure that people understand 
that there is a difference between being skinny and being fit. You can be a size 2 and be the most out of shape person in the world and you can be a size 14 and be healthy and can do a 5k like so I would never say that because someone is a bigger person that they cannot dress as nice. Some of my favorite bloggers are quote unquote plus size. I hate using that word. Um, so no, I would say that size and what you wear has nothing to do with each other. It's all about just fitting for your body shape. And that goes for slender girls as well. Just because you're slender doesn't mean that everything works for you. Sometimes some of my favorite out, um, pieces that I've seen, I just don't have enough curves to fill those out. And so that's just something that I have to recognize and leave that dress on the rack for someone else who has a little bit more hips and a little bit more butts for that. So I would say fitness and style have absolutely nothing to do with each other. Um, fitness is for me just something that I encourage because I just want everyone to live a healthy life um, down the line so you don't have as many like medical issues. But as far as like fashion goes, I don't think they have anything to do with each other.